Hey everyone, welcome back to Dev Chronics. This is your host Prince Dubey and today we are going to talk about official big update of Next.js and guess what's that? It's Next.js 16 version. So let's break it down one by one. So imagine like this, you are working on any project, you hit the save button and your app rebuilds in just a second. And navigation feels like instant, like switching the tabs in your browser. Debugging isn't now a headache. So it's built the right into a terminal. Sounds like a dream, isn't it? So well, that's exactly the future of the next days is promising us. And today I'm going to walk you through what's changing and what's going away and how we can be ready for it together. So let's deep dive into it. Even I will showcase you the live example of some of the codes part that we can do handy right now inside your VS code and in our project. So let's start one by one. I just have opened the official website of Next.js. So first thing we are getting is the cache component beta version. So this is something exciting. So Next.js caching gets a brand upgrade. Now earlier if you were hustling with the use cache in every component to cacheify your components that was very much juggling and multiple places we have to write this use cache strategy. So that is lot of struggles we developers were getting. but now we all get this is in a unified way that is called the cache component we can directly utilize this inside our configurations and we will get it let's make it handy and i will show you inside the vs code directly so i'm just opening my one of the projects or maybe i just open a different code editor here if you can see i have created a simple to do application of the next js but what we are going to change in next.js config file if you click on this right now you are also getting like this but what's exciting is here we have the some of the experimental things that we are going to write so if i click on experimental we can pass multiple experiment stuff here either it can be like a cache component so whenever you're writing the cache component and it's true so now on the global basis of my project i'm going to cache my whole component so that's a big and big advantage we will going to ahead with the next year 16. let's move ahead now we are getting the turbo pack the rust based successor to the web pack is finally coming into the play in next year 16. so what you will do you will be able to build and reload your project instantly if i can show you the something examples that have posted by one of the officials from the next is that is the roach so roach have mentioned uh, there is a one project that he were working that was taking around six minutes of the time to build itself but after the turbo pack beta version in the next year 16 we are excited about it why so it will take only the 70 second of the time to build the same project you can see like it is mostly five times faster than the existing one. So now let's talk about the next feature that is the optimized client side routing. So isn't it our dream to like optimize the routing like pulse, isn't it? So now with this optimization, we will get the a smoother navigation mostly. For user, it's just feel like teleporting between the pages. This is also like a huge optimization that we are expecting from the next year 16. Hope so they will deliver this one. Apart from that, now let's talk about the dev tools and debugging features. It's my favorite one because in, in future we are just thinking it will improve the dev tools and debugging very much higher level, right? You will soon be able to inspect the app structure visually and even forward the browser logs directly into your terminal. Imagine the caching issue instantly without a messy console spams. It's like a cherry pick on our development tools, right? Apart from that, we will get multiple stuff like uh, not just middleware. Now it will become the stable that were not we are getting right now in 15.5 version. Deployment adapters alpha version we will get and the minor deprecations and changes as well. We are getting. So of course, in every leap forward, we have the like a leap sum of the baggage behind as well. Let's move ahead. Next deprecations warning for the next year 16. And what deprecation is happening in the next year 16 that we can expect. We should be ready about this one. So first one is Node.js 18. Node.js 18 will be like no longer be in house premise in the next year 16 version but you should be ready for the next year's 20 version next is like amp support is totally deprecating so you can't use the amp now officially it will be get retired next next is image quality so earlier we have if you seen 
quality from 1 to 100 we can give right but now it will be only restricted by 75 so we can give the restrictions and quality point from 1 to 75 now so that is the standard that they have patched into the next year 16 that will be going to deprecate it if you retain half 100 right now what's the next things going to deprecate in the next year's image local pattern so that is also going to be deprecate now apart from that there is one more of the things legacy link behavior the old legacy behavior props is now a history for us so that is also going to deprecate so these are the things that is going to be clean up so tell me how do you get ready yourself for the next year 16 how you are going to move ahead upgrade yourself from 15.5 right now to the next year 16 so what's the one feature that you are most excited in the next year 16 drop your thoughts in the comments i would love to hear how you are planning to upgrade and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much have a good day bye bye take care